phone's with. Naris, what's going on? It's Scott. He's gone missing again. I've been everywhere, asked everyone, but no one's seen him. What about Mo? Is he gone too? No, he's at home, safe and sound. What does he know about Scott's whereabouts? Nothing. And that worries me. They usually get into trouble together. Hey, if you want, I can look for your son. Oh, thank you, Aiden. You're a godsend. Hey, tell me about Scott's disappearance. He left in the afternoon without Mo. And never came back. He was gone overnight. Even more strange. Some men came around that evening looking for him. And what did they want? Wouldn't say, so I chased him off. But later I saw Rude, Rude Weghorst, talking to him. I got a bad feeling. He's hunted in for my boy lately. Maybe he has something to do with this. See, Scott's got a huge crush on Rude's daughter and Rude's not having it. Started treating my boy like trash. Well, could Scott have run off with the girl? It's possible. He's completely head over heels for her. Lush should be at the bazaar. I was on my way back to look, but I ran into you. These men, any idea who they were? They said they were after someone without a biomarker. That couldn't be Scott, of course. They're not from the bazaar, that's for sure. And not the kind of people we like here. And I'll talk to Rude. You go home and keep an eye on Mo. Rude, I need to talk to you. It's you, that pilgrim. You know, people said all sorts of things about you at first, but after what you did... Tell me, how do you like it here at the bazaar? I'm slowly getting used to it. You can do a lot here as long as you keep the right company. And I know everyone here. Scott Gunter. Know him? Too well, unfortunately. I'm looking for him. For Naris. Did you know that he didn't come home last night? Well, if Naris had raised him properly, maybe he would have. Look, if you don't want to help him, then at least help me. Fine. I'll help you. What do you want to know? Some men came looking for Scott yesterday, and from what I hear, you talked to him. Yeah, they were recruiters or something. Recruiters? What do you mean? They were looking for able-bodied young men, so I referred them to Scott. I want to talk to Lus. We owe you for the water, but damn it, I don't want you bothering my daughter. What if something has happened to Scott? No, out of the question. Go away before- You guys talking about Scotty? What's wrong? Has something happened to him? He's gone missing. When did you last see him? Um, yesterday afternoon. Said he was going to prove himself? Prove himself? He can be a romantic. Romantic? I love you, Lus. But you gotta stop falling for that moron shit. So, what was this mission? Uh, I... I really don't know. Um, he just said that it would help us be together. Uh, you know where he was headed to prove himself? <sighs> Let's see. He did mention Crocodile Flats. It's a neighborhood west of Houndfield. Said he knew of some treasure there in an abandoned building. Please, you gotta find him. I'll do my best. Dad? What's happening? Did you know about this? Just go back home. I already told you everything. For real. It's nice to see everything grow. Trust strangers. Finally. Hey, have you seen a kid named Scott? <laughs> Nurse's breath. Like I told her. No. He's gone missing. Yeah. Well, I'm just a gate guard, not a babysitter. If you see him, tell Neris. Don't tell me what to do. You seen anything suspicious? Look, 
My duty is to keep the bazaar safe from infected. They don't pay me to keep tabs on every single person that comes in and out of here. If they got a biomarker, that's all I need to know. Give me a break, you're getting bored. Everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Seems like Scott was well prepared. Someone tried to force this lock, but he couldn't and didn't get in. Hmm. Looks like Scott just dropped everything and ran. He turned left here. He was in quite a hurry. Make two guys chasing him. They caught you. You didn't give up that easily, did you, Scott? Oh, shit. It got brutal. They were dragging him. He must have been unconscious. They turned left here. God, I just hope he's alive. They drag him to that building. All right, so he must be inside. Need to find a way inside. I'm the guy you're looking for. We can line on over here. Oh, Hi, Scott. Been looking for you. What did they want? No clue. I was on my way to Crocodile Flats when they started chasing me. And then they grabbed me and brought me here. You sure got a knack for trouble, Scott. Maybe if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't get myself in trouble so much. So this is my fault? What did I do to piss you off this time? I'm not pissed, just frustrated. Your little hero act, well, it ruined everything for me. And I had a good thing going. So, the bazaar getting water somehow ruined your life. Do tell. Don't get me wrong. Everyone is doing so much better. Everyone but me. See, before this, the one thing I could get was water. Enough to share, so... I shared with Lust's family. And Rude seemed okay with me then. Once everyone had water, suddenly I wasn't so special anymore. Worse, Root said I wasn't good enough for his daughter. But I love Lus. So you decided to commit suicide? What are you talking about? Now from what I've been told, You'll get yourself killed at Crocodile Flats. I had to go. Rude thinks I'm a loser. I have to show him how wrong he is. I'll do anything to prove myself to both of them. So that's what this mission is all about. Rude said he'd give me one chance with Lus. Told me about a necklace some rich aunt of his owned. Worth a bundle. Said it was probably still in her apartment. Ah, so Rude sent you to Crocodile Flats. Sorta. He told me if I could get the necklace, maybe I'd prove myself worthy of his daughter. 
worthy enough to marry. So, I have to get it, you know? To be with Lus. Crocodile Flats is a dangerous place. I'd be above your pay grade. I don't care. I love Lus, and I'll do whatever it takes to be with her. Look, let me get the necklace for you. Just tell me where it is. When you have it, you can just tell Rude you found it. Mm, I don't like it, but I suppose you're right. If Root wasn't lying, she lived in flat 21 on the top floor. Yeah, that should be easy enough to locate. Uh, nowhere to find it inside the apartment? Not exactly, though it's not a big place. All right, that's plenty to go on. Now go back home. Let your mother know you're okay. And wait for me to get back with the necklace. Maybe I get why people like you after all. Thanks, Aiden. And here, take these. You could maybe use them to distract the biters, you know? This necklace looks expensive. I bet the dead woman wearing it was Rude's aunt. for getting Scott home safely. Can I talk to him? Sure, of course. Scott? Aiden, you made it. Do you uh, have the necklace I gave you? What? What are you talking about, Scott? Yes, uh, here's uh, the necklace you got from that apartment. I looked into it like you asked. You were right. It's worth quite a lot. See? Rude? I got the necklace. Now you have to give me less. No. This can't be. How did you- I did what you asked. Lust belongs to me now. Belongs? I what now? We could finally be together. Wait. You nearly got yourself killed, scaring your mother and me half to death just to win me like a carnival prize from my father? So I can belong to you? No, this was all for you. Really, you should have seen me out there. It's true. He was brave. But heroic, even. I just... I mean, I, I don't even recognize you anymore. 
Luz! Wait, Luz! Th- this was for you! All for you! Just tell your boy to keep away from my daughter. Huh, with pleasure. Well, drama aside, at least Scott made it home in one piece. Thanks to you. Take this. Huh. You think they'll be okay? Scott and Lus? Who knows? I love my boy, but you know, he's a bit of a handful. And at that age, whew. They say third time's a charm. Aiden! You made it! Do you, uh, have the necklace I gave you? What? What are you talking about, Scott? Sorry, Scott, but... Plus, your father sent Scott for his aunt's necklace, sending him into grave danger. There's no way Scott could have done this on his own, but because of his love for you, he tried his best. Hey, wait a minute. I I could have... Scott had vowed to do what it takes to win over your father, so he could be with you. To make sure this wouldn't happen, your father also sent two thugs after Scott. You piece of shit. Should have turned you over to them while I was at it. Dad? Is Aiden telling the truth? Did you? He's no good for you, honey. You see that, right? Look, I'm just trying to do what's best for you, Lus. Believe me. I'm so ashamed. I know you didn't like Scott, but how could you? That's it. I'm done with you, Father. Miss Gunter, please, may I stay here with you? That's nonsense, Lus. Come on, we're going home, now. Touch her, and I will kill you. I swear I will kill you. Yeah? Let's see you try. Enough, Rude. Leave or I'll call the guard. And I'll go to Carl with this, I swear. What you tried to do to my son, you disgust me, you monster. Mom, does this mean you'll let Lust stay with us? Scott, you know I got enough mouths to feed. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe this necklace will help. Probably worth a small fortune. Think of it as a a dowry. Well, this does change things. Aiden, looks like I owe you another one. Big time. Yeah, I'm putting it on the tab. I'm just glad it all worked out. I, I, I don't know how to thank you. Okay, save the waterworks. Both of you, inside, for a change my mind. So, he returned my son to me. And threw in a bonus (laughs) daughter-in-law. Don't expect a bonus reward for that. You've also got a new enemy. (laughs) Nothing new about that. Trust me. And you know, this could have ended in far worse ways. You should start a detective agency.